All right, we're back with Minecraft Story Mode, Episode 8. And when I started recording Episode 7, I thought for sure that was the last episode, but I was wrong. I misread something or whatever, but I was under the wrong impression. This is definitely the last episode of Season 1. So we're going to start it today, and I'll probably record the whole thing today, but it'll be broken up into three or four episodes, I'm sure, and release over three or four days on my channel. And then we'll get to Season 2. But for now... Let's get going with season one. Previously eight. on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. No! What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this gonna do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? That, that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Time to go home. Yes, please. I can't believe we're finally this close. Ah, feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Oh, you just love being mysterious, don't you? Is that like your favorite thing? What? I don't know what you're talking about. I just try not to think about this place very often. Kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. You don't sound super happy about being back. What's up? Yeah, I think you'll figure it out once you meet the others. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? I'm sure we can figure something out, make a deal with them, right? Oh yeah, they love making deals. You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I do. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Very 
What? I can't see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die. What? <laughs> that bitch. TNT back of the gladiators. Nice one, bro. You are an incredibly horrible individual. You just killed our compet. You killed one of my best friends. Hey, I don't care about your compliments, and I'm definitely not your bra. Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately! This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. My friends are dead! You killed them! Wait, wait, wait! A and that's why you're ruining our games? Yeah, come on! Jeez, how petty are you? Ugh. Lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, you can't be serious! <laughs> as serious as that beard of yours. Okay, just tell me straight, what are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. But I saw them die. How are they alive? Oh, <laughs> I'm not surprised that you're confused. Tiny brains. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? 
Like you and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are? Champ. You're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now. Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? <laughs> you must be joking, Hadrian. Joking. Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope, not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable for fun. This is not against the rules. Technically, they are. What about this? <gasps> I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. <coughs> Harper. <laughs> nuh uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friend. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals, I never look at your insignificant face again. Uh, without the Atlas? But we need that to get home. So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You've caught me in a forgiving mood. Clearly, things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay, okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. You seem suspicious, and I completely understand. Don't you worry, Jesse. Once a rule is written into the bylaws, we make sure it's enforced. Isn't that right, Hadrian? Oh, yeah. Otto is a real stickler for the rules. Mm-hmm. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, addendum. enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Wait, but this was your plan. You said you had it all worked out. Yeah, about that. I didn't think you'd willingly come here. I might have acted in haste before, uh, I could work out all the details. Making it up as you go, huh? Bold. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? 
Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, we had the murder mystery type well, game. Well, here it is. The and now we have... Village. Sort of a home away from home. A true mini game type the games. episode. Which is this is uh pretty cool. So far at least. They're all in the games. Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. Mm. <laughs> they didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm going to go confer with Otto. We go way back, and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Hold on a moment. We still haven't found Petra or Lucas. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines. Which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, uh, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We've got to get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll see if any of these other competitors have any promising leads. <sighs> so Harper, I don't really trust at all at this point. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat. Wait a minute. You're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. And face meat doesn't luck. Cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat's air. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well. Now that you mention it, Facemeat was busy slamming mad reps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat will think about getting your friends out. Hmm. So some food, and Unless I can get my friends. Food? I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We'll get some food at some point, I'm sure. from sleep you were like amazing i know <laughs> and i am so super sorry about your friend i get your prods upset especially since you had no idea what was going on <laughs> speaking of my friends have you seen them lately nope sorry they're like probably in the mines and that's on me <laughs> such bad karma bad karma I will never do that to one of your friends again because man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like Tim status. Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. Who the like fuck is that? One, okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff. Compare you to Tim. It might be a little uncomfortable. Or not. It's cool. I'm not here to be a Tim. I just want to get home. But that's like exactly what makes you Tim status. Tim didn't want to be Tim either. He got his whole team home. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask. Shall? Uh, no, food. I mean, seriously. I mean, anything at all. Well, actually, do you have any extra food? 
Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, uh, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice. Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. <laughs> loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy. Or it to help means me. I pinched off Branches. a huge loafage. They don't let us use crafting tables though. <laughs> and I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of like wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? I know that's the dojo over there. I was just seeing if there's anything I might have missed. Hmm. Some sort of practice space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Oh, smells like it, too. Talk to that person? Nope. Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Hey, no hard feelings. I didn't know what I'd gotten into. Let's just move past this. No. I will eliminate you next round. And make you suffer. It'll be fun for me. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Please, they don't seem so tough. Then you haven't been paying close enough attention. Or you're cocky. Either way, bad business. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Looks like Tim won. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. You know, I'm not scared of you. I just need to get these wood planks first, so. There. That should be enough for a table. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread! Now I should be able to get my friends back. Let's go talk to this guy, though. Teach him some manners. Come on, don't puss out Jesse. Go kick his ass. Jeez. Alright, so I got the bread so I can help my friends, but I still want to talk to people, too. Wow! Hey, you are that crazy person in Extreme Spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. So, you ever meet Tim? Me? Meet Tim? 
Oh, I wish. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Impressive. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fish it out some respawn's inventory after he... It's got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute! You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah. And this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess. You want this back? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here. Hey, don't get too steam. Maybe we can make a deal? And Slab, the immovable. Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. <laughs> Can't you see I'm trying to read? Jeez. Huh? Sorry. Jesse, you gotta stop being such a pushover. That armor is pretty sweet. Not as sweet as mine, of course. <laughs> Excuse me. Psh, wow, rude. here before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. <laughs> it's so nice when new contestants are in the village. It's lovely having fresh meat for us gladiators to destroy. Have you happened to see my friends? You know, the ones that got eliminated in Spleef? No, but if I do, I will make them wish for elimination again. Yeesh, why is everyone so cranky around here? Could be that we're forced into an endless cycle of destruction. Just a guess, though. Would it be possible for me to uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow or will have? I guess I should ask around. I've already got it. I was just seeing if I can get more. Because, you know, you never know when you're going to get hungry. Ivor, everything going okay? Yes. I was just thinking to myself that if this place were a touch less mandatory, it could almost be fun. I admit, I did have some fun in that spleef tournament. But I just don't want to be forced into fun and games. Totally agree. The actual game was fun. It just stinks that all this has to be part of it though their architecture is magnificent we need to keep looking for petra and lucas <clears throat> right enough of this talking about feelings nonsense oh, you again Oh, Shovel Planet. Nice. Are you going to say something different? I'd love to engage in more idle chat, but let's save it for after we've reunited with our companions. Hmm? Sounds good. All right, well, I think I've fully explored... Well, maybe not. I haven't talked to the blue team. I was like, uh, I was going to go get my friends and give that guy the bread, but... Wow, they look focused. They must really want to win this thing. Here lies the platform on which Tim stood to win these great games. Hope I'll be standing there soon.
You a big fan of Tim? <laughs> oh, forget I asked. Wow, everyone seems to love this Tim guy. All right, and I'm pretty sure I've reached the point where I've seen everything. Aha, uh -huh. there's our nether portal. So, we'll give this guy the um, bread. Hello? And go get friends. Hey, face meat, got some bread for you. Bread, huh? Hmm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Please get my friends. <laughs> Face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Jesse. Hello. Hey, Ivor. There's been something I've been wanting to say. It's about how you saved me back there in that game. I. I really appreciate it, Jesse. I. Ugh! I couldn't have done it without you, is what I'm trying to say. Really not a fan of admitting that. Of course I saved you, Ivor. We're friends. Well, yes. And I suppose that is very lucky for you, isn't it? <laughs> I'm glad you're in this with me, Ivor. Me too, friend. Here! Oh! oh response. Jesse. Man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. Jesse! I really hope you've got our stuff, because I'm not liking being armorless here. So, I guess that's a no on my journal, too. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. <sighs> Give it to me straight. What did Harper get us into here? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. As long as we stick together, it's gonna be fine. We'll either get the Atlas and go home, or we'll be stuck in the nether together forever. That is not reassuring, Jesse. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. Yeah, it's kind of the worst. Lucas, I'm sorry, we can't just leave. We made a deal. We have two more games to compete in. Well, hopefully we can get that over with quick. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Tim seems fantastic. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. Oh, I didn't think he'd come back. Hey, now! I said he would help. That's why we're here. Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep. A real Tim. Really interesting. You being here. Great. As long as I get to go home. That is the point. But you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. We got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I just hope this next event isn't too... deadly. <laughs> Hopefully it's Hunger Games. 
Thanks for watching today's video. If you didn't get enough spin time for today, you can click on this annotation right here to watch another recent video. Tomorrow we're going to upload our regular Monday video, but we'll be back with Minecraft Story Mode on Tuesday. So until next time, spin out.